need some help with those, Alyssa? They look pretty heavy, even for a strong sailor like yourself. I'm trying to get ready for the Super Sailor competition. I want to prove how strong I've gotten in Patch Club this year. I'm afraid you're going to have to start with the smaller weights and work up to the bigger ones. It is good to build a firm foundation. A firm foundation? Hmm. That reminds me of a song we learned at Patch Club this year. And a final hymn, that is, too. Do you remember how it goes? Yeah. Hmm. Proverbs 18, 24. A man that had friends must show him so funny, and there was a friend that stick us closer than a brother.
Romans 1, 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. Romans 1, 16. Fifty-one ten. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me.
Psalm 27, 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid?
All right, we're going to start out with some of our um, end of the month uh, awards. And we have the Sailing Ship Award tonight to Jesse Spooner. We have a few anchor awards. We have Derek Frederick, yeah. Madeline Partain, yeah. Kyra Spooner, we have a Shine the Light Award for Christopher Partain, yeah. Compass Award for Ava Teal. We have two awards tonight. There's some other kids that have received this award previously, but for this month, um, this is for saying Psalm 27, 1 through 14. We have Julie Blankenbaker. And Grant Irish. that I'm handing out tonight um, right now are the Faithful Servant Awards and it takes a lot to get the Faithful Servant Award because that means that every single month you did all of your devos, you did um, your memory verses and if you missed a week or forgot to bring your Bible you had to do a makeup memory verse because I am so mean I make you get all your points anyway and you parents know about those points <laughs> all right so we push them kind of hard but you know what they they are learning verses and they're doing so well and we're so proud of all of them. The first, um, faith, when you, you get your awards, kids, I want you guys to line up across here, okay? So, all right. All right, the first one goes to Joshua David Baldwin. Gage Bronkema, these are first graders. And Summer Freilich. and Esperanza Georgia, and Natalie Jones. Okay, these are our first graders that got this award, so they were really working hard. You guys can go ahead to go back now, okay? Second graders that received that award, Jeremiah Blankenbaker, Aubrey Bronkema, Lydia Nash, and Carissa Silvers, and Anna Stites. Graders, Ruby Freilich, Estella Georges, and Grant Irish. And Braden White. One more picture. Braden's worked so hard this year, and he's done such a great job. You thought I was going to forget you, didn't you? See, it's stuck to the other one. <laughs> All right. Our fourth graders, Julie Blankenbaker. <laughs> Elijah Nash. We have a, a, a smaller fourth grade class. <laughs> then we had a bigger fifth grade class. There was a lot of fifth graders this year. Okay, we had Logan Freilich. Gracelyn Garrison. Alyssa Georges. Mildred Spooner, Applause 
Ethan States. Lucas Wilson. Our sixth grade class, we only had four in sixth grade this year. Two of them aren't here tonight. Um, we have the two that received awards tonight, Isaiah Nash. And Amber Woodard. You know, while I have those two up here, Amber, wait. Wait, wait, you guys. I figured as long as you guys are already up here, um, they're going on to the youth group. So um, we kind of are graduating them, per se, up to the youth group. So I have a card for each of them and also for the other two that are not here tonight. Isaiah and Amber. I miss you guys. Yeah. Uh, we're going to miss them. <laughs> Captain Phil talks a big talk, but all right. Now we have a couple special awards. And I'll tell you, this year with, um, we had a lot of different um, illnesses that went through clubs. So um, we have three people that actually got perfect attendance awards for the whole year. So I was pretty excited about that. Estella Georges. <laughs> Alyssa Georges. <laughs> and Natalie Jones. Okay, we have a couple of special awards now, and um, every year uh, Captain Phil picks um, Captain's Award for someone who is always helpful and always coming up and asking what can I do and carrying things and setting things up and helping with other kids and stuff. And this year we couldn't make a decision, so we had to pick two. And these were two girls that really went out of their way all the time to be welcoming to new people and just helped out whenever they could. And, you know, just were, they were just really friendly with, with all of the kids and helpful during game time to say, oh, no, you're supposed to go here, no, go over there, you know. And a lot of times our first and second graders, you know, they need a little help. So we have um, the captain's award tonight goes to Graceland Garrison. <laughs> and Alyssa Georges. Okay, we have one more major award, actually, but we have a special one even before that because uh, here's just a little background. Um, we have something called the Super Sailor Award, and in order to get that, not only do you have to have completed all the requirements for the Faithful Servant Award, which you saw a lot of those kids do, but they also had to be able to say the, we call it the big verse, and that this year was Psalm 27, verse 1 through 4, or 1 through 14, sorry. Wouldn't be very big if it was 1 through 4, would it? Um, so what we had done when we started Patch Club, and we did this because generally Patch Club does not start until second grade. And we've started ours in first grade because we want to stay in line with maximum impact. So we thought, well, we don't want these, these young first graders coming up to have to have that pressure. We want them to have fun and just get to started in Patch Club. So we have uh, the Super Sailor Award, and we've just always stated that first graders cannot get that. Well. One of our first graders this year did what, we've had a few of them do this before, but one of them this year, I wonder if he knows who he is, <laughs> um, he said, <laughs> okay, and this is the funny thing, not only did he say the big verse, but he said it before any of the bigger kids said it. So, we have the Wings as Eagle Award to Joshua David Baldwin.
Okay, Pastor Jason, we're going to give out the Super Sailor Awards now, and we'd like you to come up and present the medals. <laughs> okay, the first one goes to Estella Georges. Yeah. Next one goes to Grant Irish. Yeah. Julie Blankenbaker. Gracelyn Garrison. And Alyssa Georges. Good job, you guys. Did you get a picture, Maria? Okay. At this time, I'd like to thank a lot of people that um, really... I mean, we get up here and we're the ones that you see, but there are so many people behind the scenes that work so hard for, for, to help out and to do all this, and so we want to recognize them. Danica Nash, Lisa Waddell, Maria Talbot, Bobby Urian, Amy Kinsey, Miranda Kinsey, Our piano players, Cindy Georges and Jamie Martindale. And our sound and light guy up there, Steve Waddell. I'll give it to Lisa. I promise she'll give it to you. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Turn your Bibles to Psalm 84. Real quick. Real quick. I just want to show you something. Psalm 84. And we'll finish. Excuse me, Psalm 81. I want to close with this thought. You know, the Bible's a musical book. And our God is a musical God. He created music. And we're familiar with this verse, or this first couple of verses. Psalm 81, verse 1, the Bible says this, Sing aloud unto God our strength, make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. That's kind of what I do up here, making a joyful noise. Take a psalm, or a song, and bring hither the tremble and the pleasant harp with psaltery. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon and in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. Now look here in verse 4. For this is a statute for Israel and a law of God of Jacob. It's the law to be musical. This was a musical culture. Your Bible is a hymn book. The Psalms are all songs that were put to music. Now I want you to look up, and for hopefully your Bible has this recorded in this, because this is part of the Word. There are the instructions right there at the beginning of the Psalm, before Psalm, the very first verse. And notice what the Bible says there. To the chief musician. 
to the chief musician. That implies that there was people that were trained to lead God's people in corporate worship. And beloved, I want to close with that thought, close our, our awards assembly tonight with that thought. Why we, do we have patch? Because the Bible says to do it. And that we have to train young people and through the training process find the talent that God has given us to develop the leaders who will lead us in corporate worship. The thought I like here, and, and you say, well, some of these kids might not go on to be a Captain Phil or a Brother Todd and lead us congregationally in singing. But the implication here is this, is that worship is taught. That worship is trained. And so what, the, what is happening in our patch club is, part, is a vital function of what, we're, what God is accomplishing here at Emmanuel Baptist Church. So parents, we thank you so much for being a part of this. We thank you for the commitment to snacks, the commitment to uniforms, the commitment to costumes, uh, the, the, the commitment to getting them here an hour early or, so, or even an hour and a half early on a Sunday night once a month and all those different things. Know this, that that investment is going to play dividends until the Lord returns. Well, let's all stand together and we're going to be dismissed in a word of prayer. We have some refreshments available for you uh, out in the foyer. We had planned tonight to have a Sunday night fellowship after church, and so we want you to make plans to stick around, uh, enjoy some fellowship together with us. We've also set up our photo booth over uh, by the connector because we are trying to get our new directories printed, and we need your picture. Now, if you don't go get your picture taken, I take that as you giving me permission to put in any appropriate picture that I see fit in your place. Ask Brother Gill what happens when you do that. Just ask him this afternoon. Well, I don't even see him here, but right now he'll get mad at me for, for even saying that. So help us out with that. They're going to be out there with computers as well to, to update your information, and we want to be able to print a directory. So if you haven't had a picture taken yet, help us with that. We have a lot of things coming up. Super visitation next Saturday at 10 a.m. And then the following weekend, we have our Dads and Lads Camp Out and our Guns and Grub event. Those flyers and sign-up sheets are available uh, in the foyer. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we love you. Lord, thank you so much for the opportunity to be together to worship you, Lord.